What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and today I'm in London about to collect a supercar. This is the first full day back since our epic European road trip and I am here at McLaren London about to collect a McLaren 570 for this weekend. You may remember from my Q&A about what car am I going to be replacing my Lamborghini with. Well at the end of that I let everyone know that I've had no luck in getting hold of some of the vehicles that I am thinking about replacing the Lamborghini with. So I reached out to anyone that had access to the McLaren 570, Ferrari 45A, AMG GTS, Audi R8 V10 Plus and Aston Martins and McLaren London got in touch and asked whether I wanted an extended test drive with the McLaren 570S to see whether I could swing over to the dark side, the McLaren. This is the car, I'll show you around the car and then we're going to go for a drive. Sam's going to film me leaving the dealership and then we're going to go for a cruise and this is going to be, I suppose, the collection and first impressions of the new McLaren 570S. Sam's chins in as well. We are in the McLaren 570. This orange literally pops everywhere. <laughs> Everyone looks at the car. Okay, now my ride height is normal. There's so many things that I've been shown around on this little drive now. Um, I've got a full tank and it says 155 miles of fuel. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure we'll be spending a, uh, some time in a petrol station as well. Let's take the uh, park off and uh, not get let in. And let's go. It's so easy to drive. It's really, really nice to drive. From the little poodle that I had, it was very cool. And it was also cool that there was that black 570 as well. Really nice. So I think what we will do is stick around the central London, get to grips with the car on some of the quieter roads, Sloan Street, Lounge Square, try and uh, get Sam to jump out and get some acceleration so you can hear what the car sounds like echoing off some of the London streets and then head out. So I'm excited. This has got a really, really big spec. We've got the upgraded 10 speaker surround sound speaker system, um, which I'm looking forward to testing off camera because YouTube takes all of the copyrights. Oh, oh, there's that 918 that I saw. There's a black 918. Um, so I'm gonna hold back here because this traffic will go. It's really nice, black with silver wheels. There's the 918. Now I'm gonna pass it back to you because I'm gonna eventually have to drive. Yeah. Oh, my zoom and filming abilities are so awful. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, look at the jack as well. The jack. We've got this whole touchscreen thing here. Uh, we've got air conditioning, which we can do on the old touchscreen. Um, keep pressing. It's like an iPhone because that button is the home button on an iPhone, and then these ones you will rarely need to use. So this is all. This is what it's all about. We've got media, phone, radio, nav, apps, apps. Get that 
rear camera, loads of stuff, but off we go. We're on a hunt for the 918. So this is my first time sat behind the driver's seat of a McLaren and it's the baby, it's the sport series, the 570S. They launched the 570GT in Geneva, or just before Geneva actually, but we saw it in Geneva. And I personally think I prefer the looks and the idea of the GT, more of a cruiser. Um, obviously that's what I'm looking for in the replacement to, where did that one go? In replacement to my Lamborghini. The problem is that these cars take a little while to build, so it's going to be quite difficult for me to get my hands on one as quickly as I kind of want one for. So we will see how I get on with this car at the moment. I love it. I really, really do. And I think I can have some fun in it as well. I'm just looking in the reflection to look where the 918 is and it'll look like I'm pointing at people. I can see it. Yeah. Let's get the camera going. Hello! Oh, I've nailed that zoom. Have you? Oh, I've just smashed that. Good. That is one of the best shots ever on your channel. How cool is that? Friday. Acceleration. Hell yeah. And these douche barriers go out the way. Yeah. Oh, FF. Oh, lovely. Oh, that is quick. <laughs> there, were, there was a gap and then there wasn't a gap. <laughs> Just sound like a jet, and even in the, with the um, handling setting in sport mode, it um, it wiggles a little bit. <laughs> wow! Yeah, this is really really fast. I'm just going to start it up. So. It's so simple, this car. To, you have to have the key, obviously, in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you have, literally, start engine. And it's literally as simple as this. Or is it? Press on the brake. Maybe I have to hold it down. There we go. <laughs> it immediately starts in all of the settings off. Now, if you go back down to the center console bit here, I have to click active and then I get my sort of how I left it on the results. How I left it on the results? No, how I left it before I turned the car off, but I can take that off and it basically is like the softest setting possible, but I'm gonna put it back to active so that the car's in manual and I've got the P1 dash because I'm in track mode. How cool is that? Whatever point of view can see your speed there. I know, but it's a dirt, isn't it, so. Just wanted to gently remind you. <laughs> just such a cool place to sit such a cool place to sit so much space as soon as the camera turns off i am basically going to get to grips with all of the infotainment system all of the touch screens so that i can work out how to play my own music find out how good this car is to live with on a daily basis film the supercar showdown section for the McLaren 570, which is going to star in that video what I'm replacing the Lamborghini with. And what a day, or what a way, to hit the UK again. So I've just come back from Geneva yesterday. This is the first full day, and I picked up a McLaren 570S for the weekend. I, <laughs> I need to pinch myself a few times. It's just, this does not feel real. And it's just incredible, absolutely incredible. So huge thank you to McLaren London and McLaren Ascot for allowing me to drive their demonstrator and find out whether this could be the replacement to my Lamborghini. Let me know in the comment box below whether you think this car 
should replace it and what spec that you would have the McLaren 570 if you were going to order one. I love all this satin carbon here which is all over Tim's 675LT as well. This car is very, very highly specced. It's got a lot of carbon exterior and interior, upgraded sound, sound system. Um, but yeah, this is going to be an exciting weekend and things do not stop there. Next week, fingers crossed, I'm going to be having another rival to this car in the Supercar Showdown replacement to the Lamborghini. So uh, stay tuned to that. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you probably tomorrow. So yeah, I look forward to seeing all of your comments in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Here's my thumbs up as always. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Cheers, guys.